independent living for us, it's not just services. It's really a philosophy. It's a philosophy that says people with even the most significant disabilities have a right to direct their own lives. CIL was founded in 1972 by disabled students and members of the community who wanted a place where people with disabilities could get peer support, some services, and also learn how to advocate for themselves. After four decades, we have changed. Every organization grows up. As the needs of the community change, what we've done is refine services and add services. Our Project Olmstead, our Employment Academy, even our wellness programs are initiatives that we've implemented because they're addressing urgent unmet needs and it's an opportunity for us to continually advance our mission, which has always been to promote the full societal integration of people with disabilities. I work at the Center for Independent Living as the Employment Services Coordinator. I run the Employment Academy. The Employment Academy is a four-stage program where we do employment preparation. The basics of video editing software mm -hmm. are very big on the min quals. Okay. Um, I don't think I've ever worked at a more crucial area for the disability community. We are the poorest of the poor as a community, and we are the most unemployed or underemployed, and we want to change that. We're three months into the Employment Academy, and we just had our first successful placement, and, and I'm so excited because he gets to work at our agency. I grew up in a household with a relative who was hearing impaired. He was able to uh, teach us sign language himself. Peter O'Connell notified me that there would be a position available um, called an ASL receptionist. Center for Independent Living, this is Glenn, how can I help you? It's the most rewarding position in the entire world to watch people take pride in themselves and realizing that they have the ability to do jobs. I think of employment as this is the next generation or the frontier of our movement. The Living Well program is a health promotion and wellness workshop. We don't want people to just exist, we want people to thrive. We run an eight-week course that focuses on attrition, fear and anxiety, social supports, community involvement, exercise. What I like about the Living Well program, you approach the whole person. My name is Gwendolyn Duncan and uh, I live here at Redwood Gardens. Currently, our wellness programs are focused on seniors who are acquiring disability or chronic health conditions um, just as a function of the aging process. There are challenges that come with age. Arthritis, bursitis, they're gonna knock on your door and when you open it, they are not gonna leave. Bad two surgeries and getting ready to have another one. Being physically able to continue to move around and get around on my own is what I really am, um, you know, fighting to do. We try to give our participants the skills and tools so that they can participate fully in creating, shaping your own health. It's a challenge in life. It's, it's a challenge, daily challenge. Yep. But it can also be uh, a lot of fun. The title is derived from the Supreme Court Olmstead decision, which said that people living in institutions who desire to live in the community have a right to do so. In Alameda County alone, there's over 6,000 people that are currently being warehoused in institutions. A lot of people who are in these places could actually live in the community in their own homes if they had the services they need. CIL has already transitioned out for people since we've begun our program. I experienced a stroke in March of 1995 resulting in complete left side paralysis. Got it. Nicely done. A total of four different nursing facilities and a total of 16 years from the stroke until moving out of the most recent facility into the apartment. This is my kitchen area. Photographs on the wall are my favorite hobby interest, uh, private business jets. 
the overall quality of of the nursing home environment. It's not it's not an uplifting place being in a room of about 150 square feet of floor space with two other roommates. It's basically uh, an institutional environment where individuals are warehoused and where, unfortunately where persons go to die. Prior to becoming a client of, of Center for Independent Living, I knew I wanted to leave the nursing home, but I didn't know whether it was actually going to be possible. These transitions are so complicated and require so much expertise that without their assistance, I would still be residing in a nursing home. Shortly after I moved into my apartment, I was going to be traveling across the street to do some shopping. And as I left my apartment, I started heading over to the uh, manager's office of the apartment complex and I realized no, I don't have to go sign out before I could go shopping. I could just go. So the freedom of that was quite an interesting experience. Because of the work of the early leaders of this movement, I can get on a city bus. It is a huge honor and also a responsibility for those of us working in the movement now to carry that forward.